when they didn't only come ten, I just felt someone grabbing me. So I'm, you know, when you're sleeping in the bed, you just like, this is how I sleep, like with my chest on the bed, like that. So I just felt someone grabbing my, like my my pajamas, and that time I was very tiny, so I just like my whole body just lifted and then. You know, go so you're saying like, what's I doing? What's I doing? And then, to my surprise, when I just opened my eyes, I'm like, <gasps> hello guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I'm sure by now you can tell by the title of the video that, cause I'm a little, cause I'm a little stories are going to be told babes things that happened to us before we go on let me just fix myself a drink where's my drink so before i tell the story guys i need something like i need motivation I need motivation so got myself this apple tizer grape tizer but i think it's not the red one obviously by the color so guys today i'm going to tell you a story about when um my boarding school got robbed so it was back in the day like i think i was like yeah i was doing grade four so grade four how old was i i can't remember how old i was back then but i was doing grade four and for me, when you're doing grade four, guys, it's just like, you're still a child, you know, like, you're not used to e-vibes, Zoro, join even, you know. So, my boarding school was in PMB, Peter Maris Beck, yeah? so that way, way I was residing at that moment. PMB, it was nice vibes. Like, ever since I was in grade three, we've been in boarding school, so it's like a vibe. We know what goes down, blah, 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 boarding school life. So, when I was in grade four, we moved to uh, boarding school, because what happened was, in my, like, old boarding school, the owners divorced, so they had to split their assets apart, I think, something like that. So, we, they closed down the boarding school, so we had to move to another boarding school please don't mind this like i am such a mess it's this juice so we moved i first moved to this other place which i had to move again because it was not like it wasn't a nice environment like for a child so my dad insisted that we move so it was me my two older sisters and my other two older sisters went to another boarding school so we got separated but I had to go with someone because I was still young, grade four, come on. So I went with my two older sisters. So, okay, nice vibe, we move. We moved to this place at first, then my dad didn't like it. Yeah, like I said, it was not friendly for a child. So we moved to this one. It was nice vibes. They'd take us to school in the morning. Like, it was nice. But I used to, like, stay with all the people. Like, I went to my dad, my mom was to my dad, and yeah but woman do it like when you come to bed that's why you will see a complaint and nothing like as such ever so i can yarn again this one day we're sitting clearly um the kitchen ne, was zai to be in the lounge for some situation ne. so we're all sitting at the lounge uh, watching TV, I remember correctly. We we're watching Generations, so everyone is watching Generations, and then this topic just comes up about yoga and singing. Because back in that time, it was popular for houses to get robbed, so it was something we spoke about not all the time, but like in J. You know, like oh, but I'm not getting a microwave, you know, when you're young, yeah, but, but the other people were older, like. I think they were like 17, like doing grade 11, grade 10, or whatever. So, as we sitting and watching Generations, there's a knock at the door, okay? 
no problem go to the door whoever goes to the door checks my money and then it's like this guy and then he's like um if i know what he and so to say it's like oh okay sure so this guy was very smart so he knew but he went there to say but and we were like, okay, so like, like, what's a weird name? Because this name I am, and then we were like, as months both of Benny says, and when she went, can I report a coach band? Yeah, and I'm trying to bring an immediate blah 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 blah. She just left, so as he has like, what's a slam quiet, and for my yam, blah 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 blah. So this guy was Zulu, so cause the PMB obviously Zulu's everywhere. So, yeah, so I will, and we just like. Because obviously they talk It's nice vibe Knocks again This guy knocks again He's like I want one body And believe me And he's like And we're like Hey This guy is very Like hey We're so you can say We're so you can say but now the way I, I don't wanna say he's scary, but like we already scared of him the way he's speaking here yeah, already. So we're just like okay, let, let's just let him in. So my older sister and other other girls they let this guy in. So this guy goes to every room. There was like how many rooms? I think there was five rooms. One, two, three, four. I think there was four. Cause the other one, Michalo Anti, and that was just by the door. Oh, adios, kata, and stuff who cleans the house, blah blah blah. So, Nyanige goes inside, and my sister's room was open. So, my sister in her room, there were like four of them, so there was two bunk beds and four people in the room. So, it was a situation like that. In the other room, there were six bunk beds, blah blah blah, blah whatever. So, in my sister's room, there was two bunk beds, then four people. And they were charging their phones there. So they were charging their phones, Nyani. This guy goes in and tries to look for this Cecilia that Ongeli Kwa Apanga Pagachewo. Then Nyani, with looking for Cecilia, he takes the phones that are in the charger. And then he leaves. So no one bothers to check about this guy. We're like, ah, we play this Bonil Bagay Kupo, some Fishang, you know, that kind of situation. Because we like, ah, some Fishanga, dude, so just do whatever. Have a guy goes away, and then when my sister and her friends go back to their room, they're like, I'm a guy's computer is phone is like a charging, and we all like, Nope, it's a charging. Then they try calling the phone as again, then we just figure out, but obviously, it's that guy who took the phones, yeah, well. and then gates, oh, it's like, Oh, shit. So, this guy was actually using this as a strategy to come inside the house, yeah, well. yeah. And then we started calling our parents, telling them, "Bye, okay, mama, I found a sandy miwe, blah 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 blah." Da, 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 da. That's my sister's name. Okay, sure. So back in the day, as I'm saying, I was in grade four. No, no, I was in grade five. Grade five. Okay, I think when the robbery happened, I was like grade six. Yeah, I was grade. In, no, I was in grade six when it happened. So. Okay, sure. I had a phone. You remember, guys, back in the day, 1100, I had that phone. It was a blue one. So I was the puppering type. I took my phone and I went to school with my phone, the, like the previous day. Got to school, I'm showing my friends, but look, that's my phone. Da, 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 da. Who? Uh, I guess this is why I'm so in love with blue phones. And get go to school then most at school I'm still young so I take my phone I put it like on the small packet like pocket of the bag of my school bag come back from lunch my phone is not there like someone stole it I'm like what the fuck I'm freaking out who stole my phone but I can't even say to the teachers now about like I lost my phone because I'm not even allowed to bring the phone to school so psst, who's gonna help you out go okay so after school, I find out by no no, this Zulu chick stole my phone. Like Zulu people, guys, you are so greedy. You are. So she stole my phone, and 
we were in the same grade near, but she was quite older than me, so I couldn't do anything. And she was Zulu, like, you know, Zulu people, okay, when they say, yeah, when I'm trying to go, you know, I'm trying to go before next, me and I, me and I, just like, you know what, I'm not up for this. So that's how I lost my phone before the incident. So, okay, back to the day of the incident. Then my sister and her friends find out my phones I was beware and then okay sure they can't do anything now because the guy's gone we don't even know the guy's name yeah well, so it's just like okay sure hi nyanige the day like which I a payday we go to sleep I regret why I even went to sleep on that day went to sleep and even number ones again, Tony, a big tenny. I just felt someone grabbing me. So, I'm you know, when you're sleeping in the bed, you just like this is how I sleep, like with my chest on the bed, like that. So, I just felt someone grabbing my like my, my pajamas. And that time, I was very tiny, so I just like my whole body just lifted and then you know, go so you're saying. Like, What's I done? What's I done? And then, to my surprise, when I just opened my eyes, I'm like, <gasps> open my eyes. To my surprise, it's these two guys. Ne? One is wearing a red um, sweater, I think, with a, like a hoodie vibe. And then one's, yeah, whatever it is. And the other one is just wearing like a black thingy. Like, it's just wearing black. I can't remember him properly because I couldn't see. It's dark in the room. I just see two guys. And they're just shouting. You know, Zulu people, guys, yo, they're so scary. Like, they're shouting. Hey, 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 please excuse my language. Hey, 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 go put on my phone. Go put on my phone. I blow my phone. And I'm just like, oh, shit, Jesus. Oh, my God, what am I going to do? Then, like, our suitcases, now, we didn't have, like, a locker vibe situation. Our suitcases, get that up, So, I was just. So when I woke up, I'm trying to explain to them that I do not have a phone. And they're like, what's try to go? Come on, sing, gun in. Come on, sing, gun in. And I'm just like, I'm put a knife phone and now you're in the phone. You're going, yeah, when? That's what I'm trying. I'm a sim. I'm not so quasi a man. So quasi a man. And I'm just like, oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord. So now my suitcase is under the bed. bed yeah, well. So I'm trying to pull my suitcase. To show them, so when I'm taking all, out my clothes, I'm taking out everything to show them that I really do not have anything. They're like, "Ip man, Ip man," and I'm just like, "Ah, oh, that's not man, that's not man." Then the, my other roommates, because there was like a lot of us in our room, and then like everyone is sleeping, so everyone is waking up in shock, and they just like, "Go on my phone, go on my phone, and I'm just like, "Oh Jesus!" Now we we start crying like. I'm like, oh my gosh, everyone just keep quiet. But now I'm so young, guys. I'm just crying. I'm just like, I'm taking clothes out of my bag. I'm trying to show them that, guys, I do not have anything on my bag. I do not have anything. I lost my phone. So the other girls, they took out their phones. Like, so there was like three of us who didn't have, didn't have phones in that room. Because the other ones, if ones are babies, charge in my sister's room, that time this other guy came and acted like he wanted someone in the room. So I'm like, okay, sure. There's three of us that don't have phones now, so it's a problem for them. They're like, so this guy is like, um, okay, I mean, I'm going to challenge him. I'm going to challenge him. And I'm just like, oh, that's me. God Jesus, it's fine. It's okay. Like my heaven doing the guy because wow, they are going. And then that guy, the one with the black, he just over what is on the sack. So, like guys, I, I don't know how I can actually show this to you. How this thing was. Let me just try to find something so I can show you. So this guy. His hand was like this. He had something like this on his hand. <laughs> Don't mind my tough situation. He had like a jersey situation here. and But we couldn't see because it it's in the dark. Then all of a sudden, because we didn't have phones and we were begging them to leave us alone because we don't have anything. And then all of a sudden, this guy was just like... Whoop, whoop, whoop. And 
boom there's a and I think when you know knife guys it's a bush like I just saw something shining next to my face and I was just like Jesus it's fine take me now and then the, the other guy with the red uh, hoodie he was like hey and that guy was like I'm just like this guy we just showed him our lives like our suitcases everything which then he went to my other friend sleeping on the top bunk and then he just the knife and I'm just like oh I get it. it's over it's over and they told us strictly by singer Mimezi because Oh. Guys, that day I was like, Jesus, God, if you if you really love me, you're gonna do something for me. Because wow. And I was being for you because I didn't have anything. Yeah. Then they went out of our room, so they left us. So the red guy was like, So he had this jacket, he was putting all the phones in like and you could like you could hear the sound, which is, there's more on that thing. Hi Kenyan, and we heard them leaving the house. Yeah, boy. But my, our room was by the gate, so if you open the window, you could see the gate. Then we saw them jumping out of the gate. Yeah, boy. And now everybody is just like, because now we don't know what to do. Then that's when. We decided, but okay, they left now. Let's go out. As soon as we go out, everyone is crying in every room, and everyone is coming out and like, guys, guys, and just like guys. So now my bag was is on the side because I took it out when trying to show them. What it, well, babes, I don't have anything. I hear like someone going, and I'm just like, what the fuck is happening? Auntie, our helper, when because she sleeps right next to the door, when she heard the noise of them trying to open the, the gate, she ran to our room and hid under my bed. So she was hiding there this whole time. And then now everyone, I, to, I tell everyone, which I think, so now I'm scared. What if it's one of those guys still under the bed? I don't even want to check. I'm just crying. I'm just like, I'm. You know, I'm just like, I want to go back home. I want to go back home. Like, whatever, the like, education, my year game, that's it, but and then the help of shame, she just fainted there, and then everyone was just... Mind you now, the only problem we have is that everyone's phone is stolen. We don't have any phone to call anyone. So now, we have to make a plan, because this lady has fainted here, and it's just a lot, and we're going through our own shit. We're crying. We're thinking about it. other stuff. So this other girl from the other room, ne, yeah, she hesitated. Kanga phone, one in the phone, I get. She was like, never, never. I'm not giving anyone my phone. And funny thing is that when, when they tell telling us the stories that, but he made it like a really pants. So when they were trying to like guaza her and stuff, the brush was just like on <laughs> their face. When it goes pajamas, when you're wearing them, then it moves the dot and moves, <laughs> and then your breast is outside. It was that situation for her again. But Keshem, she didn't give them her phone. Which was very helpful helpful at, at the end because that's the phone we used to make calls like call the owner of the house because she didn't live with us so we had to call the owner and so now we had to come up with a plan and then they called the police and stuff and i was just like because it's done because city ab so uh, the owner of the house and they had e boarding school, e boarding houses, e two one for girls and one for guys. So the guys' ones was um opposite ours. So no one wanted to sleep there. Go late, like everyone was just crying, saying we're not sleeping here. So the owner of the house suggested that we go to the boys' side with our uh mattresses, silali pie lounge pants, and that was the best thing because now these guys there we feel even safer. Yeah, well. So, 
uh, we go sleep there for the night and we wake up and it's just tragic like I'm telling my mom my dad I'm crying like I can't take it I'm just like I want to come back home I want to come back home and imagine guys I am so young having to go through such thing and you know the worst part was when they grabbed me that one when I woke up I, I just thought like and I, like I, I just have to say you see like Abezul they have a bit closer guys in your cause of choice and woman but a bit closer you guys don't <laughs> I don't know whether it's me, but you don't scare me as much because I'm a closer. They like back then. This is good. Dallas, I tata if only. Still, we'll end okay. Still, and you before school, and say, Quanto, over the Osney is a phone car. Oh, some yaka, I don't receive now your phone. Like, they're so nice. Like, back then, but still, and you're a phone. I couldn't receive now. Those are closer people, yeah, boy. And then you get Zulu people that are just so like you have these guys like about they they're not even giving a chance to you know I want a family to phone like you did something to them let us let us phone you quasi manj me name I'm sorry I'm Zulu manj if no one six feet underground in like they they so like they so scary and it's just like me no ban me name say put me hands go seven go four I'm just like <laughs> so you give them the phone like and I don't know about Sutu people because I've never been in an area where like well, I mean, Sutu where I'd even experience irreparable things but I guess they always like you want a girl it's a phone man it's a phone <laughs> and then they, and then you say Kupa keep her sim card and they're like in sim card in sim card yeah in For me, Zulu people, I have to be the, like, they are the worst, guys. I, I don't understand. Like, I'm bound to, like, mm. My dramatizer, like, I was, guys, I was trumps. So, after the incident, I couldn't sleep in that house. I couldn't, even during the day, when it's quiet, I couldn't. I, like, my heart was beating fast, like, like, every second. So, they suggested that I go stay. We went to the owner, the owner's house where she lived with her children and everything else. Then we went there. I wasn't as happy, you know, but I was just like, okay, it's better than my boarding school. So rather get, it's fine. Let's just go stay there. But it wasn't helping anything. I was just trumps. I didn't even want to go to that house. And, but the, the funny thing was that my older sister was in the house. So I, I used to miss her and like, I would be... I want to go there because we'd go there during the day, the night time we'd go sleep there. And it wasn't nice at all. And then I was just I was just not fine. I was just not fine for a very long time. And this thing went on. These guys went on to rob other boarding schools. They were robbing people and to extend that to when they were doing this like for a long time, they started stabbing people. So we were very lucky because we were the first bunch of people being robbed so they started stabbing and everything else so it was just hectic after that so then that's when my dad decided that the following year we had to move to Durban because that was too much I didn't want to be in PNP guys I didn't like I may have never been in apart because it was just it was stressful being there imagine guys I feel like it's better being robbed in the street because you can avoid walking on that path again being robbed at your own house. Where are you gonna go? That's your house, you have to be there. So imagine being reminded of that incident all the time. Like I'd, I'd even prefer being at school than being at that house because wow, my school is just so sick. Yo, I'm a pretty guy, I tell you. Teleporting school, it was not the one. So Yo, guys, I, you are shook for days. That's about it for today. That was my story. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Because I didn't enjoy it when I was in the situation. But now since I'm telling you guys the story, I feel so much better. Okay? I feel so much better. And after that, I think I was in 
Not that I wasn't scared of being robbed, but I was just like, I can just run. Like if you try to grab me in the street, I will run. <laughs> okay, whatever. Because wow, in your own house, that's hectic. But anyway, guys, please don't forget to like this video. Comment, please comment on what a video you'd like to see me doing. Like anything that you think it would be nice seeing on my channel just comment down below and say what you would want your girl to do and don't forget to subscribe thank you for everyone who has subscribed to my channel thank you so much it means so, guys a subscription like i said before it means so much to me so if you just press that subscribe button and we're good to go and then you become my notification gang every time i post a video you'll be the first one to get a notification so let's do that and for me to you it's a <laughs> bye guys i love you very very much